Helis, here I am. Before this video starts, we want to thank all the people on screen for their help with this video. Their social media accounts are linked down below. Be sure to follow them. Hello everybody. Today we will talk about the girl group Wikimiki that has been around since their debut in 2017. Stepping onto the K-pop scene with much anticipation and support, Wikimiki have found themselves in a weird situation now, recording declining sales and interest by the general public. We'll take a look at their entire career and their company to follow along their crazy journey until today. Fantasio Entertainment was founded in 28 as NOA Entertainment before being rebranded to Fantasio Entertainment in 2011. The company started its research and development program with their goal of training and debuting talented hopefuls as K-pop idols and actors in the industry. In November of 2011, Fantasio created the subsidiaries Fantasio Pictures, in charge of film and TV drama production, Fantasio Music for music production and Solid CNM for other ventures. In May of 2012, Fantasio debuted its first girl group together with Pledis Entertainment called Hello Venus. But only two years into their career, the joint venture was terminated due to a conflict between the two companies and Fantasio took over the group completely. After lineup changes and a few more releases, the group experienced a major drop in popularity and faded from the public's eye before their official disbandment in 2019. In 2016, Astro debuted, being Fantasio's first boy group. The group enjoyed success right from the start, but only recently have really been able to celebrate huge success. Until today, Astro have sold over 1.5 million physical copies and enjoyed a massively successful year of 2021 with over 730,000 physical albums sold that year alone. The company would later run into financial trouble and a lot of chaotic situations. However, these topics will be discussed alongside Wikimiki's career as both influence each other. Produce 101 was a girl group survival reality show by Mnet, broadcasted in 2015, featuring 101 trainees competing for a spot in the final debut group of 11 members. The show was massively popular and acted as a starting point for a handful of seasons that followed all across Asia. Among Fantasio's trainees on the show were Yu Jung and Doyon, who ended up in the final lineup placing 3rd and 8th place respectively, after competing on the show. Ellie and Sei were also part of the show, but got eliminated early. Following the announcement of the votes, Yu Jung and Doyon became members of the final group called IOI, that later debuted in May of 2016. The group's first EP turned out to be massively successful in Korea, surpassing 87,000 physical copies sold and the title track selling over 650,000 times digitally. The group went on to release the single What A Man in August, followed by their second EP Miss Me in October, featuring the title track Very Very Very. The album did even better, surpassing 100,000 physical copies sold and the song was bought over 1.3 million times digitally. IOI was also able to win their first music show trophy that same month. After their massively successful debut year, IOI released their final song Downpour in January of 2017 wrapping up their activities as a group and officially disbanded on January 29th. Until today, the group holds a special place in many fans' heart, despite the short time they had together. In May of 2021, 9 out of the 11 members got together to celebrate their 5th debut anniversary together. After the group's disbandment, all 11 members were expected to transfer the massive support that IOI experienced to their own respective groups or solo careers. Members Yu Jong and Doyon returned to Fantasio to prepare the debut of the new girl group I Teen Girls. Wikimiki was introduced as Fantasio's new girl group starting in March of 2017. The group is made up of the eight members Suyon, Eli, Yu Jong, Doyon, Sei, Lua, Lina, and Lushi. The group's concept was introduced as a new concept in style and sound titled Teen Crush. Being a mashup between the teenager and girl crush concepts, Wikimiki was supposed to stand out of the huge wave of new girl group debuts that same year. On August 8th, 2017, Wikimiki officially debuted with their first EP titled We Me, including the title track I Don't Like Your Girlfriend. It's worthy to add that they were the last post-produce 101 group to debut, 
not being able to fully use the peak of IOI fame like groups as Pristin or Gugudan did. Members of the group also participated in making the album, something that would go on to become quite common for the group. A month after debut, a limited B version of the album was released. The album went on to be sold over 47,000 times physically, making it the best-selling album by a girl group that debuted that year. To this day, the music video for the title track has surpassed 11 million views. The debut garnered extreme attention among Korean and international fans alike, and Wikimiki had taken its first successful steps onto the scene. Back in 2016, Fantagio sold parts of its shares to a company called Gold Finance Korea, which is a brand of JC Group. JC Group is a Chinese real estate and investment company. In 2017, after Wikimiki's debut, JC Group invested more capital in Fantagio and became a major stakeholder in the company by owning over 50% of stocks. Following the investment, JC Group then suddenly fired CEO Na Byun Yoon, who founded Fantagio back in the days, and replaced him with Wei Ji. The sudden change led to a huge conflict inside the company. Several actors and key staff members even left the company following the CEO change. Fantagio formed an emergency response committee trying to reinstate the former CEO and stop the shareholders' abnormal business intervention. The staff of Fantagio put out an ultimatum threatening to go on strike to protect the company and artists from the current illegal tyranny. They also revealed that there had been other unfair transfers and terminations following the change of the CEO. Alongside the big controversy, it was announced that Wikimiki's first comeback was going to be delayed indefinitely. Half a year after their debut, Wikimiki returned with their second mini-album, Lucky, alongside the title La La La. Despite it only being six months since their debut, the release saw a significant drop in popularity and success, both physically and digitally. The album was sold 34,000 times physically, a drop of 15,000 physical copies. The music video for La 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 has surpassed over 9 million views until now. Additional content like dance practices also recorded significant drops in views compared to their debut era. In April, it was announced that Fantagio was being investigated for potentially violating management laws. The Korea Entertainment Management Association announced that they had requested a statement by Fantagio concerning a few of their laws. According to them, it was unclear if Fantagio's secretary and CEO met the requirements needed to lead an entertainment company in Korea. Article 26 of the Act on the Development of the Public Culture and Arts Industry states multiple requirements and to sum it up, it wasn't clear if the new Fantagio CEO and the remaining board members of Fantagio were meeting them. Not meeting the requirements would mean Fantagio was being run illegally. In May, the CEO of Fantagio's subsidiary, Fantagio Music, was also dismissed, with Wei Ji's secretary taking over his position. Multiple actors under the company also stepped forward, requesting their contract to be terminated, in fear of being represented by an illegally run company. Later that month, Fantagio put out an official statement, revealing they had not yet elected a new executive, who meets the requirements, but were trying to as fast as possible. A few days after the announcement, Fantagio officially lost its membership in the Korea Entertainment Management Association due to no longer meeting its membership requirements. In October that same year, Wikimiki returned again, this time with their first single album titled Kiss Kicks, featuring the title Crush. At that time, Fantagio also found a way around the membership requirements to not operate illegally. The music video was able to surpass 14 million views on YouTube as of today, marking an increase again. The physical album was only sold over 22,000 times. While the group was starting to get recognized internationally and was loved for their unique concept, the drastic decrease of support for the group started to worry fans. In May of 2019, it was reported that the CEO of JC Group, and therefore CEO of Fantagio, had been arrested back in his home country China for illegal financing and fraud. Following his arrest, JC Group's business was suspended, leading to the company's bankruptcy in China. Fans were extremely worried, as Wikimiki had just announced their comeback following in May. 
Fantagio put out a statement clarifying that the Korean branch of JC Group, called Gold Finance Korea, was a separate entity from JC Group and that the arrest was no immediate problem for the company and its artists. Despite the huge controversy surrounding the company's CEO, Wikimiki followed through with their comeback plans. Lock and LOL was released in May of 2019 alongside the title track Picky Picky. The music video recorded over 12 million views as of now and the song is dearly loved by the fans of the group, as it remains their most streamed song on Spotify to date. The physical album was able to surpass 20,000 physical copies. Following the big controversy of the CEO arrest, Park his son was added as a co-CEO in July of 2019 to help stabilize the company. He had been on the board of directors since 2018 and had been essentially running operations at Fantagio. Around that time, an ex-employee of Fantagio was also sentenced for fraud. The case was said to have affected both Hello Venus and Wikimiki. Three months later, Wikimiki announced the repackage of their previous album Lock and Lol to be released alongside the title track Tiki Taka as part of Week and Lol. Due to the album being a repackage, Week and Lol was only able to surpass 9000 physical copies. The music video was able to surpass 6 million views as of now. In October that same year, it was announced that member Yu Jung would go on hiatus due to health issues. In early February of 2020, Wikimiki announced their first digital single called Dazzle Dazzle, which was released at the end of the month. Member Yu Jung also rejoined the group after her hiatus in late 2019. Dazzle Dazzle was able to surpass 6 million views on YouTube. The new co-CEO Park Hae Sun was promoted to sole CEO in March of 2020. However, just two months later, Gold Finance Korea, the major stakeholder of Fantagio, sold its stock to L&A Holdings, making them the majority stakeholder of Fantagio. This led to yet another change in ownership and management, including multiple CEO changes that followed. Among all the management issues, Wikimiki announced their third mini-album to be released in June. Hide and Seek was released alongside the title track Oopsie. Member Suyeon also participated in composing and producing a song on the album. The music video for Oopsie was able to surpass 6 million views as of now. The physical album was able to surpass 16,000 physical copies. Fantagio also revealed to have solved all lawsuits regarding the overall company management. Wikimiki announced yet another mini-album to be released in October that same year. New Rules was released alongside Cool acting as their title track. The members of the group also participated in composition, production and lyrics on the album. The album was only sold around 12,000 times physically, marking yet another decrease compared to Hide and Seek just months earlier. The music video has since surpassed 16 million views on YouTube. While some views were added through ads, the change in style and concept did attract a lot of new fans and many new people joined the fandom around that time. The comeback went viral on Twitter Korea, which also greatly contributed to the high numbers. Cool also charted at spot 25 on the US World Digital Song Sales Chart, their only song to do so alongside Crush released two years prior. Inside Fantagio, even more issues arose as the major stakeholder changed to Mirei Ng and further CEO changes took place. After releasing three albums in 2020, Wikimiki continued group promotions all throughout 2021. The group did fan calls and shared a lot of information with their fans. The members shared that they were frustrated by their condition and had no explanation for not releasing any new music. The group joined numerous joint concerts, including K-Contact and Dream Concert. The members also followed with solo activities such as modeling, acting or variety content. The group was presenting themselves together actively, despite not releasing new music all throughout the year. After two of the members were casted in a drama in late 2021, it was announced in November that Wikimiki would return with their fifth mini-album I Am Me, with Siesta serving as the title track. The members also participated in the composition of some songs and the overall album concept. The release marked the return of the group after more than a year, the longest period of time ever between releases. Siesta was able to surpass 12 million views on YouTube. 
The album was announced to not include any photo cards, a main reason for collecting albums. Fans could only get photo cards when pre-ordering the album on specific websites. I Am Me managed to reach over 17,000 physical albums sold. This marked an increase in album sales compared to their previous release. The album also managed to peak at spot 33 on the iTunes US, making it their highest peak of their career. In December of 2021, Fantasio announced the reduction of capital through a merger of stocks as a way to compensate for the company's loss. This was again worrisome as it made clear that Fantasio was struggling financially. Fantasio Music merged with Fantasio and apart from Fantasio Hong Kong and Studio Invictus, all subsidiaries being Fantasio Pictures, Solid CNM, Fantasio China and Japan were sold to stabilize the company's financial situation. In February, Fantasio released new profile photos of the members and announced that Wikimiki would have an active year ahead. And so far, Wikimiki have had lots of activities, including solo and group performances. Member Soyeon has been casted in a musical lately. Lucia has recently started her acting career in a drama and Doyon was also casted in countless dramas and advertisements for cosmetic brands. Member Yoo Jung is also active as a public figure and is often featured on shows like Amazing Saturday. It seems as if the members of Wikimiki are all actively finding their new paths in the entertainment industry. So far, no new comeback has been announced. However, the group is announced to be performing at a few festivals through the summer. The increase in album sales and charting position of I Am Me in late 2021 are a hopeful sign for new releases in 2022. Wikimiki debuted during a time where the public was mostly focused on already established second generation idol groups. With two members coming from IOI, it was to be hoped that they would help put Wikimiki on the map, and the interest by the general public was definitely high during the start of Wikimiki. However, with further releases down the road and Fantasio struggling with internal matters and financial problems, Wikimiki's success seems to have declined year by year. The group clearly has a lot of casual listeners, as the views on their music videos and the millions of Spotify streams show, but not everybody is following the entire group closely. People have also brought up that Wikimiki is stuck in an odd place between third generation idols, which they are too young to belong to, and fourth generation idols, for whom they debuted too early to be a part of. The struggles of Fantasio did leave its mark on Wikimiki's career, even if not as heavily as they did on Astro's career. Mostly releasing single albums or digital singles instead of mini albums, as well as the decreased music video quality are a few factors that people often bring up. While they are certainly not the only group with XIOI members that has struggled, it's still a shame that Wikimiki is not yet at the top of the K-pop scene. The eight members of the group have shown nothing but hard work and dedication during the five years since debut. All of them have continuously shown their charms and talents to the public and deserve a lot more credit for what they've accomplished so far. The group's fans take pride in their challenging choreographies and dearly love their unique and well-made music. Wikimiki has also won Road to Max 2022, a project by Mnet that lets fans promote their groups. They won a stage performance and could possibly win to be featured at KCON. This was once again accomplished through fans' hard work and dedication and therefore is even more meaningful for fans and the group members alike. With continuous releases and more than 180,000 physical albums sold during the career, it's safe to say that Wikimiki has a lot of achievements that other groups can only dream of. Aside from amazing music, the group is also known for starting the trend of perfectly choreographed relay dances, and they frequently go viral after appearances due to their talents. It should also be praised how the members managed to work consistently during all the uncertain times caused by the company's issues. It must have been a really stressful and worrisome time, but they managed to push through and present the group in the best light possible. While people online are always quick to find reasons for the way things go, we think it would be best to focus on the success the group had, enjoy the music they have released and support all the members in their future activities. Wikimiki deserves a lot of love, so let's try to give it to them. What do you think? Were there further factors influencing the way things went? Tell us your opinions in the comments down below. Please keep a respectful tone and be nice to each other. Thank you for watching.